One of the biggest things, if you guys don't remember, way back in the day, and I know it looks like I'm 12, but back in the day, there was this thing where if you wanted good wheels, you had to get the 18s. If you went with anything smaller than 18s, you were a chump and nobody liked you. You had to get the 18s because those were the best wheels to get. And then all of a sudden, like multi-piece wheels came around and everybody's like, no, 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 no. 18s are the past. 19s are the future. And then the exotic people came along and they're like, yo, we see your 19s and we raise your wheel wells to 20s and 21s. And then all of a sudden these wheels got absolutely massive, insanely expensive, and now everybody thinks that big wheels are the bomb.com. But it really comes back to the question on why do people go with bigger wheels? And if bigger wheels are actually even remotely worth it when it really comes down to purchasing wheels for your car. So we're gonna talk about the day in this episode of Wheel School. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com if you're looking for wheels, tires, suspension, airlift, everything else. There's somebody walking through the door. It's probably Sean. Of course it's Sean, it wouldn't be anybody else. Let's just clap. Okay, so let's bring it back to why wheels actually got bigger. So if you didn't know, back in the day, wheels were flat, and then they went to this convex thing, and then they went concave, which was really cool. Everybody loves concave, and like that's the style right now. But wheel wheels actually got larger over time. If you didn't notice that, if you look at wheels, maybe on like an old, uh, I don't know, maybe 2001 Porsche 996, not that I own one, or if you compare it to a now Lamborghini Aventador, the wheel wells are massively bigger. You even look at something in comparison to like a 2001 Ford Mustang compared to a 2018 Ford Mustang, and you'll see those wide wheel arches have actually gotten much larger. Now that's for good reason. Initially, larger wheels just essentially meant that it was more of an exclusive VIP vehicle. It was perceived to have higher quality because the bigger something is, generally speaking, in the American market, the better it is, which really doesn't make sense when you start breaking it down, but from like the surface level, I mean, sure, why not? And people started to like that. The wheel wells got bigger, it actually made it look more aggressive. You could go sportier, more concave with the designs, made the spokes longer, it gave it more of like an aggressive style that a lot of people appreciated, and it was OEM, so that the factories actually had a harsher, meaner looking car that still remained within spec and safety purposes so that they could mass produce the vehicle. Eventually, that actually came from the aftermarket industry because people started to make these wheels bigger and bigger and bigger to fit these bigger and bigger and bigger wheel arches. But eventually, it kind of like stopped, and I would say stopped right around like that 19 inch range. Wheels continue to get bigger because a lot of times a lot of these wheel manufacturers and a lot of these automobile manufacturers just decided they wanted to make bigger wheels to make it look more VIP and more expensive and more higher end. That's why you see a lot of the Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Jags and things like that have these massive wheels because a lot of times that's where it comes from. With the aftermarket wheel scene though, they kind of tried to keep up with that if you want to say and that's where you have a lot of these multi-piece wheel companies offering these 19 and even 20 inch multi-piece wheels. But are bigger wheels actually better? It's debatable because a lot of times when you're looking at buying wheels for your car, people like you and people like me, you probably not putting these wheels on like $300,000 cars. You're probably putting them on like a 2007 Subaru. You're probably putting them on like some sort of Honda or Acura or Mitsubishi or Nissan or maybe you've got a Pugo or something like that. But you're not putting it on these cars that naturally have massively wide wheel wells. And at the same time, when you're going down to trying to pick out what wheel looks best for you, Bigger wheels don't actually always look better. You have to remember that when you're going into bigger wheels, you ultimately have to get different sized tires. And if you're trying to mitigate the large diameter of a bigger wheel, you ultimately have to go with the smaller aspect ratio tire. And then in essence, you're gonna get sometimes a less than stellar ride quality. When you have something that has a less aspect ratio than probably what you're used to, like a 35 or a 40 series, and you end up going down to a 25 to a 30 series, you're going to feel that, especially on aftermarket suspension. It's not gonna ride as nice, it's not gonna feel as good, and ultimately you're not really gonna have a good time. What we usually recommend is to stick right around that 30 series. If you want something that's gonna be sporty, lose a little bit of comfort, but you're gonna get a lot of uh, versatility in what sort of tires you buy. But a lot of times if you go underneath that, you're gonna be paying for it. When you go into the geometry of it, it actually really doesn't make the car feel much better. A lot of cars are supposed to have a certain size wheel with them. And if you wanna stay true to OEM, you're not gonna have a fun time. But there's a reason why the most popular wheels actually stayed around the 17 to 18 inch diameter is because they're going to give you the most versatility with divin tires and given the kind of car that you're putting it on. Now that's not to say you can't throw 19s or 20, 20 inch wheels on cars because you certainly can. You just got to make sure that the car looks good with it. And if you're wondering if a car is going to look good with 20 inch wheels, you can actually just go out to our gallery and check it out at fitmentindustries.com. That's kind of a plug, but it worked out really well and I didn't even have to look down to remember that. What you do have to remember is that if you're going for bigger wheels, there's going to be a couple things that you have to keep in mind. Your tire choice is going to go down, the odds of you rubbing are going to go up, 
the comfort's likely gonna go down. You're likely gonna have to play with the suspension geometry to make things fit, especially if you have smaller wheel wells, and that's when you start diving into camber and things like that. And ultimately, it sometimes doesn't look that good, especially when you go with a rubber band for a tire. I would much rather see something with like an 18 with a nicer setup than something that has a 19 with a less than stellar setup. But that's just my opinion and I have no facial hair, so you can trust me if you want to. All in all, bigger wheels come down to what you want and what you actually are gonna end up using. However, from our point of view, if there's something that you're gonna use and if there's something that you're looking for options and looking for sizing and looking for all of that, go towards something that actually makes sense. And don't try to go to these massively big wheels because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I said it, if you go with an 18 with an infinity spoke or an 18 inch with an infinity spoke, you're ultimately gonna get that same exact look versus getting a 19 inch with the infinity spoke. It's gonna look like a 20 inch. It's just gonna look weird on your G35. It's gonna look weird on some of your cars. So just, just trust us. We've done this a time or two, but let us know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you're looking for wheels, tire suspension, don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. And if you're looking for the last plug, don't forget 0% up to 12 months, affirm. There's a whole thing, there's a disclaimer thing on the website that I would have to read, but I'm not gonna read it because I'm not gonna go into explanation for it. But if you need to you know, buy stuff with your car, you can do that. I'm Alex, we'll see you later. Peace.